firstly, no one talks about the level of sensitivity you have in your teeth. Secondly, nobody talks about how traumatizing this whole experience is, both physically and mentally. Thirdly, no one talks about how much anxiety it gives you and what an emotional roller coaster this whole process is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, we are in a completely different location from usual. And that's because I am in Antalya, yes. So if you watched my Heathrow shopping vlog, you knew that I was traveling this month. And I am in fact in Antalya. If you don't know where Antalya is, that is in the south of Turkey. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, this video is gonna be I don't know this video is gonna be really personal and really heartfelt and I'm gonna be telling you nothing but the truth and the whole entire truth in this video um, I'm as you guys know I'm a very honest person in general but I'm literally making myself extremely vulnerable by filming this video I kept thinking in my head should I film it should I not like but then at the same time I thought well if I continue filming YouTube videos obviously people are going to notice a difference um, and I'm gonna get questions so it's just best to be upfront and honest and transparent I am here in Turkey to get some dental work done and I have decided to get a full set of veneers. Yes, you heard it first. Your girl is getting veneers. Right, I don't really feel like I need to explain the reason why I'm getting veneers. I think it's very obvious why. Um, and yeah, this is going to be the personal part of the video. Since the day I was born, literally since the day that I came out of my mother's vagina, I've been very insecure and unhappy with my smile. Yeah, I, I've never liked my smile growing up. Um, I have a very gummy smile and my teeth are very, very small. And I just don't, I've never liked my general appearance to be honest so basically i have a very high smile line so some people have very high smile lines like me which means when you smile you know you can see a lot of gum like your whole entire jaw is exposed when you smile like this some people have very low smile lines which means sometimes when certain people smile or talk it looks like they have no teeth because you can't physically see any teeth inside their mouth so if you're lucky you will have a moderate smile line that's like normal people have moderate smile lines some people have very high smile lines like me some people have very low smile lines when i was growing up obviously my smile didn't impact me in the slightest it didn't really affect me and everyone has insecurities maybe you don't like your nose maybe you don't like your lips every single person has insecurities because no one is perfect however let me tell you something when you're living your day-to-day -day life and you have an insecurity it doesn't really bother you like on your day-to-day -day, on a day-to-day -day basis it doesn't really bother you because you don't really notice it that much when you choose to put yourself online in front of a camera that's when it becomes a problem when you put yourself online when you put yourself on platforms like youtube and instagram and just general social media this is when the nonsense starts this is when you will get people jumping in your comments saying oh my god you're so ugly oh my god you look like a fucking monkey oh my god you look like a horse oh my god you're so disgusting like this is when you will get these comments and let me just say i'm not getting i'm not getting dental work done to satisfy these disgusting people online and that's not the reason why i'm getting it done i'm getting it done because i've always been insecure with my smile from the day i was born 
and I just feel like it's gonna really help enhance my confidence so hopefully my confidence will enhance when it comes to job interviews when it comes to dating just general things like that like I just wanna I just want to feel better about myself you know I just want to be that bad bitch so let me give you a bit of context as to why I've chosen to get veneers and why I've chosen to come to Turkey to get veneers let's rewind back to maybe five years ago do you guys remember when Invisalign was quite brand new and every single YouTuber on the planet was getting Invisalign and all the bloggers were getting Invisalign um, I don't know when Invisalign was created, I don't know when it was released but I remember about five years ago it really exploded and every single person was getting Invisalign so I booked an appointment with my dentist at home in London and I said to them I want to get a consultation with Invisalign for Invisalign. I went to my consultation, my doctor, my dentist examined my my mouth and she said, Alicia, why do you want Invisalign? And I said, well, I just want to enhance my smile because, you know, I have quite a gummy smile. And she said, Alicia, your teeth are perfect. You don't need Invisalign. She was like, Invisalign is to straighten your teeth. You have perfectly straight teeth. Your teeth, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. Like, Invisalign isn't going to do anything for you. So I was really confused. I was like, oh, that's strange. Um, and she said, can you explain to me in detail what you don't like about your smile? And I said to her, well, I don't like that I have all these gums up here. And I don't like, I just don't like how my jawline is so exposed and she basically looked at me and said if you want to rectify your jaw you need jaw surgery and I was like what like nah this woman's having a laugh like why would I need surgery like it's not that deep like why would I need surgery and she said to me this is your natural jawline like some people are just born with this jawline like it's nothing that you've done like even sucking your thumb as a baby wouldn't create this jawline it's just natural um you were just born with it and she said the only way you're gonna fix it 100 percent is to have surgery and the surgery that i need is called maxillary impaction and maxillary impaction basically involves uh breaking your jaw in half so they break it they remove a section of your upper jaw and then they screw your jaw back together with metal pins. So this is the type of shit that I would need to fix my smile. And I just thought, oh my god, that just sounds so invasive, it sounds so expensive, like, it honestly sounds traumatising. Like, imagine getting your jaw broken on purpose. Like, it sounded so traumatising. And I left that consultation feeling really deflated because at that point, you know, I was working a normal nine to five job. I was on like a permanent salary. Uh, I wasn't earning the type of money that I would need for the surgery. You know, I was on a very, very low wage and there was no way in a million years that I would be able to afford surgery. Also, I, you know, let's not forget I'm sick. I am a sick child, <laughs> I'm a sick child, I'm a sick woman, I have sickle cell anemia, so me going under surgery, it's, it's not going to happen, it's just not going to happen. So fast forward to 2018, um, there's a YouTuber that I watch, her name is Fashion Mumbler, she's British, um, she was doing a competition where you could win a smile makeover, um, and I entered the competition. And obviously, you know when you enter these YouTube competitions, you know you're never going to win. It's, you know, I just did it because I had nothing to lose. Anyway, after I entered the competition, the dentist got back to me and he said, um, he was answering me what I don't like about my smile and what the issue is. And I told him and he basically said the same thing that the woman said five years ago. 
He said, Alicia, if you want to fix your smile, you need surgery. You need maxillary impaction. Guys, just Google it. Like, I'll put the name here. You can Google the surgery. You can see how invasive this shit is. And I was like, oh, for goodness sake, everyone's telling me that I need surgery. Like, is it really that deep? And he said, unfortunately, to get a perfect, like, Hollywood smile, surgery is the only thing that's going to achieve what you want to achieve. And then he said, however, on the other hand, you can still enhance your smile, but it, it won't be perfect, but you can still make enhancements. And he basically said, you can get gum contouring, which involves lasering your gums and you can get veneers to make your teeth look larger because from an aesthetic point of view it looks better to have more teeth on display rather than gums so it's always better to have more teeth and less gums basically um so he said that's another option like you know get gum contouring and then get a full set of veneers and it won't be perfect but it will be an improvement so i thought oh that sounds good you know i've never really thought about veneers before i know it's trending i know a lot of youtubers and bloggers are getting veneers recently but i never really thought about it so i went away and i started researching prices in london and oh my god harley street is a madness the dentists on Harley Street are charging roughly £1,000 per tooth, like per veneer. I'm getting like a full set, top and bottom. So this was going to cost me roughly £20,000 for veneers. And I'm thinking in my head, excuse me, who's got £20,000 to be spending on teeth? Like... I don't have that type of money even though I'm in a better position now than I was five years ago I'm still not that balling to be throwing 20,000 pound on my teeth I don't I'm not in that position so I started researching like other methods and other ways and then and then I came across one of my favorite Instagrammers called Shantania Beckford if you're black you probably know who she is um, Shantania Be Beckford she is a British Instagrammer and I noticed that she went to Turkey this was back in January January this year she went to Turkey and she got a full set of veneers and they looked stunning they looked so beautiful they looked honestly they, her smile looks perfect and I thought oh my god this is possibly something I can do like I could possibly travel to Turkey and get veneers and I started researching it I started looking into it and before you knew it I came across a dentist called Dental Center Turkey I started talking to them via email and they started quoting me different quotes different prices and before you knew it I booked my plane ticket, I booked my hotel, that was it, now I'm here, now I'm here, I'm going to start my treatment, Dental Centre Turkey is collecting me from my hotel today at one o'clock, which is in literally five minutes, um, and yeah, I'm going to get the process started today, I'm going to get the ball rolling, and to be honest, I'm so, so excited, I'm so excited, like, I know that I won't achieve a perfect smile with this option but any kind of improvement, any kind of enhancement, I'm here for it. Like anything that will help my confidence, I'm here for it. So yeah, that was just a quick intro as to why I've decided to come to Turkey to get my procedure done i just want to say a huge thank you to every single person that has subscribed to my ch channel all 7600 of you i want to say a massive thank you from the bottom of my heart genuinely i know that youtube is a popularity contest and let's not lie it's a very very shallow platform and you gain subscribers a lot faster if you're attractive like that's not me 
sounding facetious. They, that, that's, I'm just stating facts. Like, if you're hot, if you're blonde, if you're pretty, if you're this, if you're that, you're gonna grow a lot quicker on YouTube. That is just a fact. And I'm just so grateful that all 7,000 of you have looked past that. Like, you don't care what I look like. You just enjoy my content. You just en enjoy my shopping vlogs. And I'm really happy. I'm just so grateful for all of you guys that see me for who I am. <laughs> and you don't see me as like, oh yeah, I, I subscribe to her because she's really pretty and I like looking at her. Like, no, that's not the reason why you subscribe to me. And I'm grateful for that because it means that you genuinely like watching my content. Um, and yeah, I'm just, just a huge thank you for never pointing out the obvious none of you have ever left any nasty comments none of you have ever pointed out my flaws um so yeah thank you truly thank you okay my battery is literally going to overheat because it's like 35 degrees in turkey right now the weather is insane anyway let's i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna wait for my taxi to take me to the dentist and I will see you later. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Right, guys. So as you can see, I'm being chauffeur driven to the dentist in a Mercedes Benz nothing but luxury here this is a huge van so here it is guys the infamous dental center Turkey and I'm going in for my first consultation my x-rays done in the clinic and unfortunately I wasn't allowed to film because they said the, the radiation from the x-ray machines like they don't want cameras in the room which is fair enough so I couldn't film my x-rays but they took x-rays of my upper jaw and my lower jaw and we're gonna see what we can do my consultation is in 20 minutes and I'm really excited and um, the staff here are so friendly like I've been talking to all the staff and I've been talking to some of their patients because a lot of people travel from the UK to come to this clinic to get their teeth fixed and it's crazy because I've done one or two Instagram stories um, and I tagged the clinic in, on Instagram and then they reposted my stories on their Instagram and when they reposted my stories I got so many DMs on Instagram from people who I knew years ago and just general people like saying that they're coming here to get their teeth done or that they're unhappy with their teeth and they want them fixed yeah like my Instagram went crazy like I got so many DMs because yeah yeah it's a very popular clinic it's like the number one clinic in Turkey so I'll get back to you guys when I have my consultation so this one is the DCT white DCT one DCT white DCT white okay why is this not focusing sorry DCT white. Hmm. Okay. Many, many options. Oh. 
the sides. So as you can see, everything is really clean and sleek and modern. <sighs> I can't talk. I just had my gums contoured. I can't talk. Okay, guys, I'm back home now. As you can see, I'm all masked up. My mouth is completely numb and obviously my speech is impaired um, but I thought I would let you know I got my gum touring done upper and lower jaw I think she did a really good job one thing I will say is that all the YouTube videos I watched they said that uh, their dentist used a laser to uh, to contour their gums that was not the case for me no laser was involved the woman got out a knife <laughs> it literally looked like a kitchen knife she got out a knife out of her drawer and sliced up my gums literally it was so ghetto it, <laughs> it was quite funny actually I didn't feel anything because my mouth was numb but I just wasn't expecting it to be that raw. Um, so anyway, yes, that's done. The dentist prescribed me some antibiotics. This is Augmentin, which is a common antibiotic used for um, dental work. Um, so I'll be taking this, I'll be taking one tablet twice a day and she prescribed two sprays for me so this is an oral spray that i will be uh is it i think this is four times a day and then this one and another spray that i will be taking that i will be using twice a day i think i don't even know if i should show you or not i like that they give you a mask so you can um so you can keep your dignity in public so I thought that was good I don't even know if I should show you or not so yeah my teeth are now bigger and yeah I still have a gummy smile you can still see my gums but as I said there's nothing I can do about that unless I get surgery but I'm happy that she made my teeth bigger I think the shape is much nicer now to be honest I could just leave it like this if I wanted to but I still want my veneers and then the bottom see she straightened out you can't you can't really see the bottom that much actually but she straightened out the bottom gums they're a lot more straight now but yeah it's my top teeth that I'm pleased with I think she did a good job um, my next appointment is on Saturday, so I will check back with you guys on Saturday. Thank 
aqui. Guys, look at the state of me. I just had the most traumatic experience of my life and I can barely talk. Oh, basically, <coughs> I went to get my teeth filed down today at the clinic. The teeth I have right now, these are temporary. So, look at my mouth. I can barely talk because... I've got so much anaesthetic in my mouth, like I'm completely numb. But anyway, these are temporary teeth made of plastic. That's why they look quite heavy and yeah, they, they look odd because it's plastic. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos about veneers and they all say the same shit. They all say oh yeah such an easy process like you just go there get your teeth filed down get your temporary teeth and then you get them fitted a few days later yeah it's fine it's easy peasy that is not true that is bs it's not true i had the most traumatic experience of my life today getting my teeth filed was 10 times worse than my gum contouring. So let me just say something. I have a massive fear of deep water. I cannot swim. I never really learned how to swim. You know, I just, that is my ultimate fear, deep water and drowning. Whilst I was having my teeth filed down, why did I feel like I was drowning in water? I could not breathe. I literally thought I was drowning. It was so horrible. I almost started crying. That's how bad it was. I couldn't breathe. The assistant, you know, the dental nurse, she kept on going like that, like holding my nose. Why are you holding my nose? Do you want me to die? Like, it, it was such a bad experience. It was horrible. So the tool that they use to file your teeth down, it kind of sprays water on your face like a lot of water there was water all over my i mean look at my makeup you can see i mean come on you can see the state of my face <coughs> um oh i think i have i think i have purple on my lips that's from the mold yeah so the tool that they use sprays water all over you and i thought i was drowning it was horrible um, I think I had like a panic attack because they had to call in the nurses and the manager. It was so bad. It was so, so bad. I was meant to get my upper jaw and lower jaw done. But it was so bad that I could only do my top jaw. So I have to go back to the clinic on Monday to do my lower jaw. Um... It was, I didn't expect it to be that bad. It was awful. It was really awful. I just, I felt really claustrophobic. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was drowning, honestly. And then when I, wa I, I walked into the bathroom and I saw the state of my teeth, like my teeth filed down. And 
I thought to myself, Alicia, what the fuck have you done? Like, I, I had regrets. I started to have regrets. I was thinking, what the hell have you done to your teeth? Like, yeah, my teeth weren't great, but were they really that bad to go through all this trauma? Like... I don't know, I really pray to God that this is worth it because right now I'm having slight regrets because I didn't realise it would be such a traumatic experience and I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it one bit. So yeah, that was my quick update for you guys. Um, maybe you want to reconsider getting veneers after today's experience. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday for my fourth treatment and I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. Okay guys, so today I don't have any makeup on my face, so excuse the way I look but um, I'm really really nervous about today's treatment I'm going to get my teeth on my lower jaw filed down today my previous experience was so bad so I'm really I'm really nervous and my stomach is literally doing knots as we speak yes I'm very very nervous three hours of drowning in the chair I'm hoping that filing my bottom teeth won't be as bad as my top teeth were but knowing my luck it probably will so I'll update you once I am there hey guys I'm back oh god I can hardly speak but um I just had my teeth filed on my lower jaw and this one wasn't nearly as bad as my upper jaw um, yeah so yeah the process wasn't as bad um, I didn't feel like I was gonna die it was okay it was like three hours it was long I arrived here at two o'clock and I finished at five o'clock so it was long I've got my plastic teeth at the top and I've got my plastic teeth at the bottom so they just gave me my appointment card for tomorrow I'm coming back tomorrow at 11 o'clock for my presentation and then the fitting will be on Thursday God. I can barely talk this is terrible Oh, at least my teeth look white. Morning guys, welcome to day four of my veneer process. So, I've literally got about 10 minutes to eat my breakfast. I'm just eating eggs. This is like the view of my hotel, like the pool behind me and stuff. Oh, I've only got four minutes left on my memory card. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know uh, that today is my big presentation at the clinic and um, I'll be designing the look and feel of my teeth I'll be designing what shape I want what kind of smile I want I can either go for a Hollywood smile which is like straight or I could go for a more natural looking smile which is like a bit it's a bit more it's not a streamlined like some teeth are smaller, some teeth are bigger because that's more of a natural look. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to today. Like there's, there's no like dental treatment involved, there's no filing, there's no gum contouring. It's just the design process. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. I will try and take as many pictures maybe one or two videos if possible I don't know they're quite strict in terms of like photography so I'm not sure I'm not sure about that one but yeah I had my teeth my lower teeth filed down yesterday and 
I had a, I was in a lot of pain yesterday, but now they feel so much better because um, I'm wearing my plastic temporary teeth at the moment. They feel better. I'm able to eat. I've got no pain, not much sensitivity. So I'm doing okay so far. So I will check back with you after my presentation. Okay, guys. So I am in the cafe called Fresh Pecs Cafe outside Dental Centre Turkey. And this is where they prepare cocktails and tea and coffee and drinks for all the patients. So it's really cool in here and it's air conditioned and it's just a nice place to come and relax after your treatment. So here is the final result. We've got this super cute cocktail which is just it's a non-alcoholic cocktail um, and it's just a mixture of fruit juices and ice to keep me cool but yeah this is what this is the treatment that you get at dental center turkey so that's your lower jaw your yeah. natural teeth as okay you can see. yeah at the back you have a little gap between canine and premolar okay you can see here yes okay. oh yeah there's a gap and here because of the chip you have a gap and the canine it's a little bit short yeah so it's coming like this and they're see. crooked as well a little bit crooked yeah here you have a chip yeah so uh this one and this one is crooked yeah. this one is coming over the canine okay okay so as you know it will be uh, a little bit more different yeah. than the upper jaw From the top, you can see it better. Yeah. These four, they're crooked. Yes, I always this knew is, that. Yeah. <laughs> this is coming over the central one. Yeah. And this one, the lateral, coming over canine. And the canine is a little bit inner than normal. Is this because I never had braces on my lower jaw? Is that why? Yeah, you had braces on upper, upper right? jaw. Upper jaw, yeah, yes, but not my why, lower. That's yeah. why the lower jaw line it's different. Okay. You can see that the line is not straight as the upper jaw. Upper jaw, yeah. yeah. And we can show you the crowns now. So you can see the difference. Here were your teeth. Yeah. And now the crowns. Crowns at the back. Okay. They're also inner. Than inner. Normal, as okay. 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 We didn't make them shorter or longer to keep your bites. Okay. So it will look totally natural. Natural, yes. So that's with the difference. So okay. Crowns and your own is with the difference. And she will open down the crowns so you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the. So the front bit. We will see now the crown. Oh, right, okay. I was getting confused. Okay, now I can see. Ah, so the bottom jaw is straight now. Mm -hmm. And then the top jaw, yeah, top jaw looks good. To be honest, they look similar to my natural teeth. They yeah. haven't been too dramatically mm -hmm. changed, which yeah. I think is good. So, yeah, because uh, because of that, it will look totally natural. Natural, yeah. Your own teeth. Just about the crooked teeth, chips and the gaps, we closed all of them. Okay. We made them straight and also the color will change. Yes. So uh, I guess it will be a big difference so you can notice it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. because I don't know 
I just have this vision that they might look too big or that they might be too square. I don't know. I don't know. I went for a Hollywood style, but I went for rounded corners because the dentist said that rounded corners will look a little bit more natural if I choose Hollywood. She said, don't get square because square can look too big and too overwhelming for the mouth. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm scared, I'm scared. And today is payment day, like I have to pay today. So it's like now or never. It's like they're gonna fit them with temporary glue and then I can tell them if I like it, if I don't like it, if they need to be adjustments or if they need to shave the teeth down. Um, if I don't like the Hollywood, I can change to the natural. So yeah, they're gonna fit them with the temporary glue. If I like them, then I go downstairs to the reception and I pay the full payment. Once I make the full payment, then I go back upstairs to the dentist and they uh, fit my veneers with the permanent glue or the permanent bonding so it's like a two-part procedure it's like the temporary glue payment and then the permanent glue oh, these are times where you need like a second opinion I really wish I had my mom or my dad or just someone here to like reassure me but you know when you're an independent woman you just got to do what you got to do Okay guys, so I am back from my fitting and I'm still wearing my temporary teeth. Yes, that means I never got my veneers fitted. Um, basically, what I predicted in my previous clip, that's what happened. Sorry, my mouth is numb so I can't really talk properly, but basically, I hated them. They were so short. They were, si they were the size of my original teeth. They were so, so short. They were like, probably like three quarters of the size of this. Thank you. That's so why I hated them. And I said I didn't like them. And now they are making me a new set of veneers. The bottom ones were fine. It was just the top ones that I had an issue with. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen because I know that I'm so picky and I know that the main issue I have with, with my smile is on my gums and it's all about playing a trick on the eye so I need bigger teeth to make people focus on my teeth as opposed to my gums and so I really wasn't happy, like I was vexed, <laughs> I was vexed. But they were, they were fine, they said, yeah, no problem, we can make your teeth longer. Um, so yeah, that's what is currently happening. And I will update you probably, probably in about two hours time. I'm having such a bad time here. I'm starting to regret it. Like, I don't think I can do this. I really want to go home. Well, um, I really, really want to go home. I, um, I think I've made a bad decision. I never should have come to Turkey. Like these people don't seem to understand what I want. I feel like I'm gonna fly home on Saturday with horrible tea. Like this whole experience has been nothing but pain and trauma and mental stress and physical stress it's been one of the worst experiences of my life and i wouldn't recommend getting veneers really wouldn't like i'm waiting for them to make my new teeth and for some reason my spirit is telling me that i'm not gonna like my new teeth i know for a fact i'm not gonna like them and this is also meant to be payday like i'm meant to be paying these people thousands of pounds for teeth that I, that I might not like. Uh, well, I really want to go home. 
I really need my mum. I can't even speak to her because she's at work. Okay. New technology. Oh, this one's very nice. I haven't been in this one before. Oh, we've even got a little step, guys. Wow, this is like a luxury minivan. Okay, come through Dental Center Turkey. Very nice. This must be one of their VIP ones. Because it has a TV, it has quilted leather seats, it has snacks, it even has alcohol. Curtains. DVD player. So just thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, I've been waiting at Dental Center Turkey for two and a half hours. The car came to connect me at 6 p.m. from my hotel and it is now half eight at night and I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still wearing my temporary teeth and my flight is at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So, I'm very concerned right now, to say the least. To be honest, I'm, I'm very annoyed, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'm just annoyed because I called them this morning and I asked them, is it possible to change my appointment for the morning? like 9 a.m. first thing in the morning and he said no because the clinic is fully booked so I have to keep it at 6 p.m. fair enough okay the world doesn't revolve around me fine however you know that I'm flying back home to London tomorrow at 11 a.m. and you give me an appointment time of six o'clock and you make me wait two and a half hours yeah it's crazy i just i just feel like they there's a major lack of organization at this clinic i'm just keeping it real with you and i'm just kind of i'm just i just feel annoyed and vexed because i've got so much packing to do you know and now i have to come to the clinic tomorrow at eight o'clock before my flight like they're really cutting it really tight which I'm not pleased about. Um, anyway, they're currently filing down my teeth, so my veneers are made, but I want them slightly shorter. So they're filing down the top set, and then they're making the bottom set slightly thicker because the bottom set looks see-through, like you can actually see. Um, this is, this is the same thing happened yesterday. Uh, they made my veneers too thin and you could see my original teeth underneath my veneers which made them look yellow. So they were trying to give me yellow veneers and you know, I was not having none of that. Um, but anyway, keeping it positive, I saw Lockie, James Lock from TOWIE. That was fun. I had a nice little conversation with him. That was fun. I'm just, I mean, you know, the catering service here is very good. I've got a nice little chocolate milkshake that was made for me. I shouldn't be drinking milk because I've got IBS. But, um, I don't, there's not much to do, like, what am I going to do? I'm like, there's like two, three people left at the clinic because it's so late. So I'm forced to drink milkshakes and talk to my camera. 
Hey guys, I'm back. So it's the next day now. It's Saturday, 13th of July. It's my final day in Antalya and um, it's my final checkup at Dental Centre Turkey. It's been a manic night because they didn't finish my teeth till 1am last night. My flight is at 11.30 this morning. So it's a mad rush right now. I need my final checkup. They need to check my bite. They need to check my teeth. And they need to give me my gum shields as well. Um, and then I need to head straight to the airport to catch my flight. But one thing I will say, I've noticed one thing last night. So when I woke up this morning, I was checking my teeth in the mirror and I noticed that one tooth was slightly longer than the other and I thought how is that possible because like they just you know installed my teeth last night and when they did it I checked it thoroughly, I checked every tooth, I took pictures, I took videos, last night it was perfect like it was perfectly straight it was perfectly aligned and then this morning I woke up and it's almost like my teeth have moved overnight which is really strange so I'm gonna show you it's it's only a very slight difference but it's still noticeable and even if other people can't see it the fact that I can see it it will bother me so this uh, left tooth the left front tooth is slightly longer than the right tooth. I care. So yeah, it's really weird. It's like it's like the position of my teeth have moved overnight, and that's quite scary because the last thing I want to happen, I don't want to go to London and then my teeth move, guys. Things are going from bad to fucking worse. So I just told you guys that my tooth was slightly longer than my, so my left tooth was slightly longer than my right tooth. I go upstairs to the dentist, the dentist starts filing the tooth down to make them equal. Guess what happens? My tooth chips. Yes, my veneer chipped. I was fuming, I'm so fucking angry, I'm so vexed. Um, they basically now have to do it again from scratch. They have to make my veneer from scratch in the machine. It's gonna take about two hours. My flight was meant to be at 11.30 a.m. Now I'm gonna miss my flight. Now I've had to book a new flight um, later this evening. I'm so angry, I'm so annoyed, I'm just having no luck here, like, if, you know what, I don't think I would recommend this place because their lack of organisation and their attention to detail, I'm just not feeling it, my spirit is not taken to this place, I'm having the worst luck, I'm just not feeling it, and I'm not sure if I would recommend any of you guys coming here, um, Obviously they are reimbursing my flight so they are giving me my money back but that's I'm not gonna say oh that's nice because it's your fault so that's the least you can do my mind is telling me to stay an extra night because for some reason my teeth moved throughout the night so I don't want to go back to London wake up tomorrow morning and then my teeth move again because then I'm screwed like what the hell would I do if that happened yeah, I'm just, I'm just not having any luck at this dentist. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just, I'm just cursed with bad luck or is this dentist genuinely shit? I don't know. This clinic has just been nothing but problems. Literally since the day I arrived, it's been nothing but problems. Hey everyone, I am back home. Oh my God, I am so excited to be back in my yard, in the comfort of my own home. Oh, my experience in Turkey was a madness. Like Antalya, woo, it was a lot. 
the whole entire process was a mind fuck to say the least but anyway I just want to conclude this video because I just want to give like a brief overview of my experience in at Dental Centre Turkey. I'm not going to go through every single stage of my treatment because that's why I vlogged whilst I was in Turkey. So hopefully you should get a good understanding of everything that I had done and my experience and how I felt at the time. I wanted to capture how I felt at the time. That was the most important aspect um, of me blogging my trip because what I didn't want to do, I didn't want to get my teeth done and then come back to London and then tell you about my experience because as human beings, we tend to forget about the pain that we go through. So I wanted to, I wanted to capture the moment of all my sad times or my low times or the times I was depressed um, you know so you could see how you could see what it was really like like my genuine reaction and then this part would just be like an overview anyway I'm gonna start by clarifying what treatment I had I had a total of 22 veneers I had 10 veneers on my upper jaw and I had 12 veneers on my lower jaw um I also had gum contouring so I had gum contouring on my upper jaw and I also had gum contouring on my lower jaw um and what else did I have I have my receipt here actually um and then I had a gum shield as well that they've given me right so when I was vlogging in Turkey I got a lot of questions from you guys about prices like oh please make sure you you know talk about the pricing discuss the pricing um of course I'm happy to tell you guys how much my treatment costs so the total of my treatment came up to a grand total of five thousand three hundred and forty six pounds so i know what you're thinking you're thinking oh that sounds like quite a lot of money considering that you flew halfway across the world to turkey i thought turkey was meant to be cheap you paid a lot of money to get your teeth done in turkey guys five thousand pounds for dental work is nothing absolutely nothing if i had this work done in london i would have been looking at around twenty two thousand pounds because firstly veneers are roughly around one thousand pound per tooth i had 22 teeth replaced so it would have yeah it would have been a total around twenty two thousand may have cost me even more because i got gum contouring on top it would have cost me an arm and a leg to get you know dental work in london which is why i chose to go to turkey to get it i feel like quite a lot of people are very very naive when it comes to the cost of dental work um you know i i spoke i've spoken to people in the past about getting treatment in turkey and how much it was going to cost and their reactions are always like oh that's a lot of money how much do you think it's gonna cost do you think just because i'm getting treatment in turkey you think it's gonna cost me what one pound fifty that's don't be so naive like that's not how it works just because you're going to a less developed country doesn't mean you're going to be paying pennies for treatment you know dental work is still dental work regardless of where you go in the world to get it it's still a very costly procedure um so yeah please don't be naive and think oh yeah i'm gonna get a full set of veneers for like 500 pound no it doesn't work like that it really doesn't um obviously the your cost will be down to your individual needs it depends what you want to do some people go when they only get one or two veneers done some people go when they get their whole mouth done it depends what you need some people get implants some people get veneers some people get gum, gum contouring some people get root canals it depends what you need done um so yes i just want to say that turkey is cheaper but don't expect miracles um yes also when it comes to prices i want to let you guys know that all the prices are listed on their website so if you go on dental dental center turkey's website i will list it down below in the description bar 
every single price is listed online like you don't have to ask me for the price the information is available to everyone worldwide so they make it very very easy so in terms of the actual clinic itself dental center turkey it's a very very modern clinic it's very clean it's huge they've got like four or five floors no i think they've got about five floors yeah they've got roughly about five floors very clean very modern every single room is air conditioned i mean the service is really good in terms of they look after you they're showering you with drinks and beverages non-stop there's a small cafe right outside the clinic called um pegs i can't remember what it was called pegs cafe or something like that but there's a really nice bartender called ali and he will make you any drink you want uh, milkshakes and um, fresh juices uh, sparkling water sprite coke any drink you want he will make it now i don't think they serve alcoholic drinks so don't get too excited obviously you are having dental treatment so you, they don't want you to be drunk during your procedure um but they have some really nice like non-alcoholic cocktails and mocktails and things like that so the service is good the treatment is good um what else can i say about it they offer a transfer service to and from your hotel so they will arrange a luxury car to come to your hotel and they will collect you every single appointment so and they're very very punctual like if you have an appointment at 2 p.m they will be at your hotel reception 1 55 p.m to make sure you know they are here on time to collect you like they're very punctual which is very good um and then obviously they bring you back home after your appointment and even um so sometimes during your procedure your dentist will prescribe you um some tablets so either she might prescribe you some painkillers or they might prescribe you some antibiotics to prevent infections so your driver will actually drive you to the to the nearest uh, pharmacy and you can get all your prescriptions in the pharmacy and then your driver will drive you back to your hotel so the service is second to none second to none it's very very good i can't fault them on their service however what i am gonna say is i feel like the clinic majorly lacks in organization i feel like they are very disorganized this was the impression that i got from the the clinic i think that they take on too many clients that's what i think and the reason why i say this is because you will get an appointment for 2 p.m your driver will take you to the dentist at 2 p.m on average you will be waiting between one to two hours before you're even seen by the, your dentist you don't go to the clinic and then walk straight into you know your room and then get your treatment that's not how it works you go to the clinic and you are waiting around for hours literally hours i met people there saying oh i've been here since midday it's now 5 p.m and i still haven't been seen me i on average i was waiting between one hour sometimes two hours before i was even seen by my dentist so that's why i say i feel like i feel like they take on too many clients and i feel like they are quite disorganized um also i felt like towards the end of my procedure like as i was getting my veneers made i just felt like there was a severe lack of attention to detail so for example on the first day when they were making my veneers um they inserted my veneers and when they insert your veneers they only do it with like like temporary molding um, because they want you to see what your veneers look like in your mouth before they cement it permanently so they inserted my veneers and i was looking at them and i was taking pictures of them and i'm thinking hold on my veneers look yellow i'm not joking this was not me exaggerating i said i said why do my veneers look yellow is it me or do they look yellow 
and um, the dentist was like kind she didn't disagree but she didn't agree so when you have a query or when you're unsatisfied with something what they do is they will call in the patient coordinator because all the patient coordinators are fluent in English and they are the ones that um, like deal with discrepancies so they called the patient coordinator and um, he said okay what's wrong tell me what's wrong and I told him well firstly my veneers are way too small they're way too short for my mouth you know I have a big mouth I have a big smile the whole point of me getting veneers were to get big teeth um so I said they're too short they're too small and on top of it they're yellow like they're actually yellow and then he looks at me and he said no they're not yellow it's because of the lighting are you really going to patronize me are you really going to gaslight me if I say that my veneers are yellow it's because my veneers are yellow like I don't make things up in my head. I know what I know. God gave me perfect vision. I've got 20-20 vision. Do you see me wearing eyeglasses? No. So don't tell me, don't, don't gaslight me. Don't tell me that it's all in my head. So that, yeah, that pissed me off quite a lot because if I'm telling you something, you're meant to listen to me. Like the dental practitioner, someone else came into the room and she confirmed that I was correct. She said, yes, actually, you, the veneers do look yellow. And the reason why the veneers are yellow is because they made them too thin. So what happened is that they made my veneers too thin, which meant that you could see my original teeth underneath my veneers. That's why they looked yellow, because my original teeth were very yellow. They were very discoloured. And yeah, basically, I was correct. Throughout my whole procedure, my dentist kept telling me your your gums are thick, your gums are very, very thick. Okay, so if my gums are thick, why did you then make my veneers so thin? Surely if I have naturally thick gums, then you should make my veneers thick to match my gums, right? Is that not common sense? So that, just small things like that pissed me off because it just delayed the process even longer so like you know every single time you make adjustments to your veneers you're just delaying it more longer and longer like it takes between two to three hours to make these adjustments to your veneers because they're adding porcelain to your veneers or they're removing porcelain from your veneers they're changing the shape like they're changing the width they're changing the length it's it's a very long process so all these adjustments just add to the time so when you do get your veneers they do come with a guarantee so each treatment that you get comes with a different type of guarantee i got emacs veneers so my veneers comes with a five year guarantee and what that means is that if any of my veneers chip if any of them fall out of my mouth it means that dental center turkey will pay for my flights I'm not sure about my hotel but they'll pay for my flights and they will repair my veneer free of charge because that is the five-year guarantee so my veneers are covered for up to five years and um, as I said they will pay for your flights probably pay for, I'm not sure about hotel I can't guarantee that but they pay for your flights and they will fix the veneers at their clinic free of charge or they will make a single contribution of 100 euros towards having the veneers fixed in your home country so if you're american or if you're british they will contribute 100 euros which we both know is rubbish because what can you get done in a british dentist for 100 euros i'm not even sure if you can get your teeth cleaned for 100 euros because <laughs> they're so expensive um, so yeah, you're just better off going back to Turkey and they will like resolve the issue. But touch wood, that will not happen to me. Um, also, let me show you. So they have given me um, gum shields, two sets of gum shields. Or if you're American, they are called retainers. So here they are. They're just, they're just plastic moulds of your teeth. And I have to wear these retainers 
every single night for the rest of my life. Yes. Yes, you heard me. Not for the next two weeks, not for the next two years, for the rest of my life. But that doesn't bother me. Like I just leave this in the bathroom and then when I brush my teeth at night, I put my retainers in and then in the mornings, uh, I take them out put them back in here and then I brush my teeth in the morning. So the reason why they give you gum shields is to prevent your teeth from moving. So although my top jaw was very straight, like my top teeth were very straight, my bottom teeth were very crooked. So they actually moved the placement of my bottom teeth, which means there is a high chance that my bottom teeth can move back to their old original positions which is why it's very important that I must sleep with my retainers every night I have to I have no choice otherwise my teeth might move and then you know I'm, I'm screwed right so after my traumatizing experience in Turkey I thought I would compile a checklist because I know a lot of you guys are probably looking into veneers, you're probably researching about it and if I'm going to be honest I think a lot of these videos on YouTube are useless. They are useless because they don't tell you like informative information. They just say like oh my god it was so cool and like it was all unicorns and butterflies. No it's not. It's not. So yeah, I'm here to tell you, you know, how you can make the process a lot more easier and a lot more streamlined if you decide to go to Turkey to get veneers. Tip number one, please book the most luxurious, most bougiest hotel possible. Honestly, I'm not saying that because I'm a luxury YouTuber, I'm saying it because you need comfort. Like, you're gonna be in pain for so many days and you're gonna be out of use for quite a long time. Like, you're not gonna be able to explore the city and do all the tourist hotspots. You're gonna be in your hotel the majority of the time, resting and relaxing, and you need to be in a comfortable environment. And this is where I went wrong, so please learn from my mistakes. I stayed in a small boutique hotel. I tried to cut corners because my mentality was I'm already spending £5,000 on my on my veneers. I don't want to spend more money, like unnecessary money on the accommodation and the flights. So please don't be like me. Don't try and cut corners. Book the most luxurious hotel in Antalya, please. I beg you. You just have to. You need to... You need to be in comfort and in luxury. My hotel, the Wi-Fi was messed up. Like, the Wi-Fi had a mind of its own. It was very difficult to communicate with my mum and my dad and all my friends and all you guys on Instagram. I had a very difficult time, you know, getting, getting signal and talking to people who I needed to talk to. Um, the mini fridge didn't work at my hotel and you know, when you're getting veneers, you have to be on a very soft diet. Like, not necessarily liquid diet, but you can only eat soft things like soups and, you know, milkshakes and ice cream and things like that. So you need a fridge in your hotel to keep your drinks cool. And for me, I um, bought a lot of nourishment. You know, nourishments are like milk drinks because I didn't, I was very conscious that I didn't want to lose too much weight because... I have weight issues so um i bought a lot of nourishment to turkey and then my mini fridge wasn't working so i couldn't refrigerate my nourishments which really pissed me off and also the bathroom in my hotel had the most funky smell it was disgusting like they clearly had drain issues um i don't really want to say what hotel i was at because i'm actually embarrassed but I'm aware that I need to say the hotel because I don't want you to book the hotel. So the hotel I stayed was called um, Let's Stay Boutique. Please avoid this hotel at all cost. There are many luxurious hotels in Antalya. Um, I would recommend Accra Hotel. That's most of the patients 
who get their teeth done at Dental Centre Turkey stay at Accra Hotel. I didn't choose it because it was quite expensive. Um, so Accra Hotel, then there's Club Hotel Falcon. I think that one is extremely expensive. So yeah, maybe look for an alternative. And then there's a hotel called Hotel Sue, and actually one of my close friends, uh, one of my work colleagues, she stayed at Hotel Sue, and she kept saying, Alicia, book Hotel Sue, and I didn't listen to her, and I really, really regret that. Um, if I go back in the future, I will definitely stay at Hotel Sue or Accra. Um, yeah. Tip number two, please, please, I beg you, go with someone who you love. Go with your mum, go with your dad, go with your boyfriend, go with your girlfriend, go with your cat or your dog. I don't care who it is, just please bring someone who you trust their opinions and who only wants the best for you because I think one of the biggest mistakes that I did was travelling to Turkey alone to get this done. Um, I just thought, oh, you know, I'm an independent woman, I'm a grown woman, I can do whatever the hell I want. But in hindsight, I wish I took my mum with me because there were a lot of times during this process where I was at my lowest moment. So many times where I felt depressed, I felt low, I felt very anxious, um, I felt very confused because I didn't know what I wanted and I lacked reassurance. I never had anyone there with me to help me or give me guidance. I had absolutely no one. Um, so please, please bring someone with you. You don't have to bring your whole family, just bring one person with you because you really need someone to reassure you, just to, just to tell you that everything's gonna be okay. I think that's what I struggled with the most. Um, I tried to FaceTime my mum and dad as much as possible but because my Wi-Fi was so bad in my hotel it made it very difficult. So um, yeah, bring someone with you. Tip number three is never ever trust mirrors. Guys, this is one of the biggest things I've learned when I was getting my veneers done. Mirrors are liars. They are nothing but liars. Do not trust mirrors. Please, if you get veneers, please only rely on pictures. Take as many pictures as possible. Take pictures from every angle of the room, in daylight, at night time, all throughout the day. Just be a selfie whore and take loads of pictures because the only way you will know what your veneers truly look like is in photos. Take videos as well, videos and photos. Because I feel like, to the naked eye, most things look okay. But then it's not until you see yourself in a picture where you're like, Oh my God, do I really look like that? You know? So, I heavily relied on my phone in Turkey. Um, when you get certain procedures done, like when you get gum... gum so for example, when you get gum contouring done or where, when they insert your veneers, they will hand you a mirror. Don't trust this mirror. Throw the mirror on the floor. No, don't throw the mirror on the floor. Don't do that. But don't trust the mirror. What I did is that I kept my phone in my lap when I was having my treatment. So every time she asked me to look in the mirror, I would just go onto my phone camera and just take lots of pictures on my camera um, and then I could get a good overview of what it looked like. Tip number four is always speak your mind. Let me tell you something, if you are a shy person or if you are a weak person, veneers are not for you. Not just veneers, any type of cosmetic procedure is not for you because these people are on a time scale and they're trying to get patients done as quick as possible. It's like a, it's almost like a cattle market where they're trying to get you in and then get you back out as fast as possible. If you're shy or if you're weak-minded, 
you will go home with veneers that you probably don't like because because it's not their mouth and it's not their face they can't see slight imperfections that you will be able to see so if they do something and you're not happy with it don't be like <laughs> don't do that don't do that speak your mind tell your truth say actually no i'm not happy about this um my veneers look a bit too short or i don't think they they suit my mouth um you know they look a bit off color like actually they look yellow um you have to speak your mind you have to if i never if i wasn't vocal i would be sitting here right now with yellow veneers because they would have happily cemented those yellow veneers inside my mouth. If I wasn't vocal, if I didn't express my opinions, they wouldn't have made the adjustments that were needed. So please, just speak your mind, just speak up, be vocal, be that boss bitch that you are. And my final tip, tip number five, is make sure you have extra money than you need this is a mistake that i made so when you're communicating with dental center turkey they will obviously give you a quote of how much your veneers will cost okay so let's say if you were quoted five thousand pound please don't go to turkey with five thousand <laughs> pound please don't i know this might sound like basic common sense to a lot of you but this is actually a mistake that i made I had the money saved up for my veneers, but I didn't have extra money. And you know what? This is just down to basic financial management, to be honest. Um, I personally never had extra money lying around, which I should have had um, for, for any possible emergencies. So for example, when I arrived in Turkey and I saw the state of my hotel, Oh God, I was in a state. I was, I was in the right state. I called Expedia. I said, how on earth can you have your, this hotel on your website? This is not fit for purpose. Like I want, I want a refund. I want to move hotels. Cause I, I've been very lucky throughout my life that I've always stayed in top hotels. Cause I've, I'm, oh, I always travel with my mum, so I always stay in hot, top hotels. This was the first time that I've travelled by myself and I made the mistake of booking a cheap boutique hotel. Anyway, it was a shock. It was a shock to the system and I really wasn't happy. So, you know, ideally, I would have liked to switch hotels. But unfortunately, I just didn't have the financial means to switch hotels because I didn't save up extra money than I needed. And also, one big thing is... So, on my final day in Turkey, I had my final checkup. And on that day, I noticed that my left tooth was slightly, slightly longer than my right tooth. So, I went back to the dentist and I asked my dentist to file down my tooth. So during this filing process now, my veneer got chipped. It accidentally got chipped whilst my, you know, dentist was filing my tooth. So, oh God, it was such a palaver and, you know, they had to bring in the patient coordinators to talk to me and they were honest with me and they were like, look, you're going to miss your flight because we have to make your veneer from scratch. And I've already told you guys that when they make adjustments to your veneer, it takes between two to three hours to make adjustments or to make new veneers. So they said to me, listen, you're gonna miss your flight because we have to make new veneers for you. So this is why I was telling you, please make sure you have a couple of thousand saved up somewhere in your bank or somewhere for emergencies because if if something similar happens to you you're gonna have to extend your stay in Turkey luckily for me they actually bought my my flight back to London because they knew it wasn't my fault so they purchased my flight and I got a later flight in the evening but I'm just saying anything can happen 
your veneer could chip, your veneer could fall out of your mouth, anything could happen. So make sure that you have enough money saved up that you can extend your hotel stay or you can uh, change your flights for another date. So I think that brings me to the end of my veneer experience. Um, I think I'm gonna get some questions saying, oh, but I think your teeth were fine before. I, I don't think you needed veneers, okay. I am going to show you a before and after picture of me so you can see. Obviously you guys knew what I looked like before, but I, I don't think you realized how extreme it was. Um, so I'm going to insert a before and after picture now. So yeah, as you could see, my teeth were extremely small and they were very, very yellow. They were very discoloured. It made me very self-conscious being a YouTuber. Like, I know I'm not a big YouTuber. I know I've only got a very small channel, but when you're putting yourself out there in front of thousands of people, you do get very self-conscious. I wanted to be more comfortable with being on camera so I knew that veneers were the right choice for me and also just just general life like just boost my confidence when I'm talking to people when I'm meeting new people you know going for job interviews going on dates things like that so I knew that veneers were the right choice for me and I'm very happy that I did it it was a very traumatic experience for me, but I think the final results were worth it. I'm really happy with my new teeth. Um, I'm going to come closer so you guys can see it. So as you can see, I still have a gummy smile. That's never going to change without surgery. Um, but now that my teeth are bigger, I think it takes away the focus from my gums and you can focus more on my teeth. So, yes, I'm happy with my new teeth. So since I've been back home, I can confirm that my teeth are very sensitive. Oh my God, the sensitivity is real. Um, they're very sensitive to extreme temperatures. So I can't drink anything extremely cold. So ice cold drinks, I can't currently um, drink because they're so painful and also hot drinks so like cups of teas or coffees I can't drink way too painful apparently the sensitivity goes after a few weeks I hope that's true um, because at the moment everything that I drink has to be room temperature also my bite now my bite still feels weird um, um, I think it is correct because I can I can feel my back molars when I bite. So my bite is correct, but it feels very strange. It doesn't feel normal. I'm still not 100% comfortable with eating. Yeah, I will eat things like cheese on toast, bread, um, soft things. I try and eat very soft foods for the time being. Um, what else? So, you know, I maintain my teeth regularly like I used to. I brush twice a day, morning and night. Um, I have to wear my gum shields every night. Um, also, what else? Oh, I have to buy a water flosser. So my dentist did recommend that I start using a water flosser on a daily basis. Um, that's really important when you have veneers apparently. And also, when I drink, I only drink through straws now. So in my kitchen, I have like loads of straws. Yeah, I'm, I'm not prepared to discolor my teeth. Like also, just because you have veneers, don't think that your veneers can't discolor um, because they can. Just like your natural enamel over the years, they can discolor. So I'm very conscious about what I'm eating and drinking 
things like red wine I will never drink red wine again it's not worth it I'm not gonna stain my tea for red wine um what else smoking Ugh, I don't smoke anyway but this is more of a reason not to smoke and things like beetroot like foods that naturally stain so no more beetroot for me yeah I'm, I'm very conscious I'm not paying I did not pay five thousand pound for my teeth to discolor so yeah my diet will definitely change now but I don't mind that doesn't bother me so if you have any questions for me please feel free to answer me as many questions as you would like in the comments down below or feel free to follow me on Instagram and DM me any questions that you might have yeah I hope you found this video helpful and informative and if you are contemplating getting veneers then yes I would highly recommend talking to Dental Centre Turkey they are contactable via WhatsApp or via email and yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video and um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so we can keep in touch and you know we can talk about veneers if you want to and until next time i will see you in my next video take care guys bye